Hey everyone, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts. Thanks for joining me today. I have a very simple card to make today, and I'm using this snow crystal stamp. It's a single stamp, and I kind of think maybe, I don't know, I haven't seen a lot of projects, so I'm wondering if it's kind of overlooked in the catalog. And I think um, it would be really great. I embossed it with white embossing powder, but it would be pretty with gold, I think, and silver. So this is on uh, in the mini catalog on page 38. It's just this single stamp right here. And see, it's in silver here, and I think it's just a nice addition. And I wanted to make it the highlight of this card. So I used Sorry Sky for this card base and then just embossed it with uh, the, the white embossing powder. This time I'm gonna use Knight of Navy, and I have a thick uh, basic white card base. And I did get the um, sentiments. <laughs> I'm gonna do different sentiments this time. I did the Merry Christmas. I love this Merry Christmas from the Brightest Glow. And then on the inside, I did the inside sentiment from that as well. And I was like, well, I wanna add some snowflakes. So I decided that I would get some from the Joyful Flurry. So this card, I'm gonna change it up. I'm not using Story Sky. I will be using Night of Navy. And this is a five by three and three quarters because I wanted a nice big white border around it. And then I will be using the Joyful Wishes and the, uh, the inside, it's the season of magic and wonder. So it's a little bit different, basically the same card, but let's get started. Okay, I was going to start with a snowflake, but I think I'll start with the sentiment. So I'm going to get my embossing buddy and just wipe it down. And this keeps your embossing powder in place wherever you stamp. And we use Versamark ink when we emboss, heat emboss. And I'll just do the joyful wishes and I'll ink that up with the Versamark ink. And this is just like a sticky ink that the embossing powder will adhere to. Okay, it's hard to see, but on dark cardstock, you can actually see it. It gives kind of a watermark, and, and you can create a background using Versamark ink. Like if you had flowers or leaves, you could just stamp them all over, and it just leaves that very light look. It's pretty cool. So let's get our embossing powder, and we'll do this, and then we'll go back, and we'll do the big snowflake. So let's put this aside and I'll just pour this over. Make sure it's all on it, fully covered. I like to do the little flicking on the back and we'll put this aside. We don't want this to blow away. So let's just put this aside, get my heat tool and I'll speed this up and turn off the, the sound so you don't have to hear it. Okay, and you know it's done when it's shiny, um, and you'll see it changes from this dull white to this bright white. So pretty. So now let's get our embossing, or <laughs> embossing, listen to me. Now let's get our stamp apparatus out. And this is such a large stamp that I just want to use the, the stamp apparatus. It's got this big door, and let me get the stamp out. I think this is so pretty. It would be pretty with glitter on it, too, I was thinking. And now we can position the stamp on here around the um, sentiment. Okay, so I think that looks good. So I'm just going to close the door. Oh, and before I do that, I didn't do this yet. Let me just pick this up. Underneath here, oh, I did do it. Huh. I usually have this in here. This is a... Um, a mat and when you're using photopolymer stamps I don't know if you've heard me talk about it before they're very hard and this gives it a little cushion so um, when you're using a um, red rubber stamp the cushion is built into it so you'll see there's like cushion built in so you don't need that so just remove that if it's in there now we'll close the door press it down and this will pick up the stamp and let me get the stamp case and put that there just to give us some stability. And now we can ink this up with the Versamark ink. And the beauty of this is you can do it multiple times. If you don't have good coverage, you can uh, 
ink it up again and go right over the image and it will pick up it, it will add a, you know another layer of ink okay so i want to get it nice and inked up and then we can close the door and press down on it and sorry if i'm shaking here i'm on this little card table not a card table but this little table I can't wait for my craft room to be available for me. So I see I, I kind of have some areas that I don't have it inked up good. So let's go again, round two, and see if we can get better coverage here. And it's right here, it seems to be lighter. And sometimes I found if you go too close to in here, you're not getting to press down. That's why I stay on this side a little bit more when I put my um, my cardstock down. So that looks good. Let's move this away and get this back out. And so when I'm done, I'm just going to unscrew this and pour this all back into this container. This container will last me forever. So be generous when you're pouring it on. Now, we don't want to touch what we've inked up here. So just be aware of that. On white, it's hard to see. But on a dark cardstock, it's nice. You can see it all. Isn't that pretty? I'm just going to put a little bit more on, get the tips done. It's like snow. And then we'll just kind of flick it, get some excess off. And if you need to, you can use your little brush. If there's some areas you can, and this is a nice stiff brush that helps just flick it off a little bit. Okay, that looks good right here. And if you take off something that you've inked up, you could just pour the powder right on it again. Okay, I think we are good. Let's put this aside and we'll get out our heat tool. Again, I'll mute it and I'll speed it up, but then I may slow it down so you can watch it change because I think that's really cool. Okay, I hope you were able to see it change before your eyes. I think it's really cool. And there's maybe a little flakes and specks here and there, but I'm okay with that because it's a snowy scene, right? So now I want to put this down here and I want to use, um, I want it to pop up in one big piece. So I'm going to use that foam adhesive sheets that I've talked about. It's like a big, huge... Um, dimensional. It's just one big, you get six of them in here, and it's just one big piece. So we have to cut it down. So I have my snips, and I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and cut it down. And it doesn't, you know, you're not going to see it, so it doesn't have to be straight. And you can actually die cut with this and have something pop up, not anything intricate. And this is a good size, but I'm going to actually cut it into three strips and just to get end to end but yeah if you have something kind of open um, you can die cut with these and then have your whole image popped up it's pretty cool so now we'll take this and turn it over and i want to have this sharp edge at the top i'm going to go pretty close up and then i'll put one on the bottom and then i'll put the one in the middle I can hear my granddaughter upstairs laughing hysterical. <laughs> I have to go up in a few minutes, actually, and uh, and take over babysitting. And I'm wondering what they're doing up there. All right. Let's 
So now we can put this down and just be aware when you put it down, not very easy to pick up. This is not forgiving. <laughs> it's a nice look because the whole thing is popped up, but you have to get it right the first time. So here we have an inside and I am going to take sentiments from this and I have, uh, it's the season of magic and wonder. And since this one is a Knight of Navy front, I'm going to use Knight of Navy ink. And just put this right here. And then I think I will stamp off. Let me get this scrap of paper here. I think I'll get a lighter look. I didn't do that here, but this Knight of Navy is so dark. So I used the Story Sky and I just stamped it direct. And you can use any of these snowflakes. You can even use the falling snow. But I'm going to just, I think, stamp off. Let's see what it looks like. One, two. Yeah, I think I'll stamp off. One, two. I got a little edge there. There you go, I covered it. And we'll do down here. One, two, three. It's the season of magic and wonder. But I just thought this was really pretty. And then we have one more little thing to do before we're done with the card. So let's turn this over and we will put it down with my stamp and seal. And I went with just a regular old rhinestone for the center of that big snowflake. Hardly ever use these because there's so many fancy ones, but I think these are great. So there you go. We have one in Night of Navy and then one in Starry Sky. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this and give this one a try. This is something I really didn't even pay attention to in the catalog. And I haven't seen many people use it either. So I think it's a great stamp. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.